I'll always remember the first time I saw the Redwoods. That was the day my life began. Somebody is ready to sail. <laughs> Good morning. Go get dressed, Billy. Your grandparents are going to be asking, who is that handsome dude? He's so grown up. That can't be Billy, can it? Oh my gosh, it is. It's Billy. We need shaving cream. In the uh, storage closet next to the toothpaste. And you know what? There are going to be huge, really huge ships in Seattle. What do you think of that? Billy, go brush your teeth, honey. Um, can you take care of the mold in the shower while we're gone? There are these brown, rusty spots on the ceiling. I'll get some disinfectant. Oh, uh, I found those coupons, but they're for the 26-gallon trash bags and not the 13-gallon. Oh, the 26 are way too big. I know. Everett, it's not that easy dislodging your toenails from the rug. Billy! So, do you want me to get the 13-gallon without a coupon? Um, Billy, did you brush your teeth, honey? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Nothing. It's okay. It's okay. I just have a lot of work this week. I will be waiting right here for you when you get back. I promise. Time to go, Billy. Don't forget to get the sprinkler fixed. Okay. Uh, I'll call when we get there. Drive safe.
come with me and out to the keg tonight. No offense, Shane, but uh, watching heteros get plastered is not my idea of a good time. You gotta make a mess of things sometimes. You're certainly good at that. <laughs> no, you're as bad as he is. Actually, I'm looking forward to having some time alone. Haven't you uh, been alone enough already? Hi. <laughs> I'm lost. Where are you headed? Um, the, the Humboldt bed and breakfast? It's on Humboldt Street, right? This is Humboldt Lane. Oh. You're not that far. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go back uh, down this road. Would... Try and showing me on a map because I'm kind of... <laughs> kind of turned around. Sure. Okay. Sorry to be a pain. No, not at all. Good friend of my mom's owns that place. Bad with directions. She was probably high. <laughs> Seriously? Don't tell her I said that. Scout's on her. Uh, this is where we are right here. Sorry. No, it's... I'm... So you want to go back down this road right here, and when you get to Mayfield, Mayfield will take you to one right into town. Yeah. Doesn't sound so bad. When in doubt, avoid roads with gravel. Uh, good advice. I'm Chase. By the way, Everett. Thanks for being so helpful, Everett. Oh, I, I didn't do much. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Um, guess. <laughs> I, I'm here to finish a novel. I hope. You're a writer. Yeah. I aspire to be. I did too. Once. Really? It's a a long, very boring story. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get back to work. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I better find my way into town. Bye, Everett. Bye. Chase.
This piece would be perfect in the spare bedroom, but your father would absolutely kill me if I brought something home. He's the one to talk with all his golf gadgets. Huh? You okay? Um, yeah. What? Nothing. Uh, work is just crazy right now. It's not even tax season. It's always tax season. Oh my god, it's 10 o'clock. I need to get... I'll drop you by the house. I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna stay here for a little bit. You're going to stay here? Uh, you know, suit yourself. <laughs> Stop by later? This is a small town. I didn't expect to see you here. Love antique stores. <laughs> you should meet my mom. Just for the record, smarty pants. I left the store before he did. Mm -hmm. oh, seriously, Woodson, don't you think it's strange that he didn't go to Seattle with Miles? Now, don't go looking for trouble, Tess. I'm not looking for trouble. All these old pieces have stories behind them, you know? Imagine the secrets this must have contained. You sound like a writer. You never told me what you do. It's, uh, so boring, I probably forgot. I, um, I'm an accountant. Sounds challenging. It allows me to stay at home with Billy. You have a kid? And a partner. They're, uh, away. How long have you been together? Eight years. No, um... It's, uh, seven. Yeah. Seven years. I'm... Um, I should, uh, uh... What are your plans today? Everett! What a surprise! <laughs> Behave yourself, Dee Dee. Never. You two have become quick friends. Uh, Ever Everett's gr graciously agreed to be my tour guide. For the day. Lucky you. I know my camera's in here somewhere. I, I can, uh, wait outside if you like. What? No, come on in. I'm only gonna be a minute. What is this about? Play a few bars. I, I, I don't know how. Just hum. What are you writing? Good question.
make you feel so insignificant. Some of these trees have been here since the time of Christ. How many things have stood the test of time like that? Not many, I suppose. Oh, hey, um, can you take a picture? Uh, sure, no problem. This is that silver button. This one? Yeah. Can you get as much of the tree as you can? I'm not very photogenic. Oh. I seriously doubt that. Ready? Beautiful. Got, Got it. Oh, uh, wait, uh, can you do one more? Sure. No problem. Okay. Perfect. I performed here as Peter Pan in the sixth grade. Sounds like perfect casting. <laughs> I want to read your book. Are you serious? I took some creative writing classes when I was at Stanford. They let you into Stanford? Very funny. It still needs lots of work. Come on. What have you got to lose? I was born in Faith, North Dakota, population 800. The nearest doctor was 136 miles away, in Grand Forks. For my family, Faith was enough. But for me, Faith offered only isolation. One of my first memories was a bitter, cold winter morning on the ranch. I was six years old, and as I shivered, and stared into the plains. A stark realization hit me like a Chinook wind. I didn't belong here. I never did. I was lost. Lost in faith. Now, all these years later, I have left faith behind. My accent is gone. My few friends there are gone. Yet, I am still that lost boy in the dark fields, trying to find my way. You're an old pro at this. We have a few lakes in Minnesota. I never thought in a million years I'd end up staying here. Never really said what you thought of the book. You really run away from home? It makes for a good story. You have a very clear, succinct writing style. And, and I cared okay. about the main character, not just because I was naturally curious, but because I could really relate. You know, right. My parents were academics, and you know, most everyone at school were logging kids. I was a bully's wet dream. <laughs> you have a flair for words. Yeah, you do. Not really. Can't you take a compliment? Okay. Thank you. You can steal it for your book. I will. The title, though, has got to go. I like the title. It's a little... It's a little cheesy. Cheesy? Faith is a real place. It's a play on words. I get it. But it sounds religious. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just you never went there. You're being too literal. Okay, when you stick to the simple action and the characters, mm -hmm. your story is really gripping. When you make these little asides or play on words, as you like to call them, you have a tendency to get a little sentimental. Oh my... God, we mustn't get sentimental. I knew that was coming. What gets into you when you're talking about writing? You're so aggressive. I like it. Dee Dee, you are hiding something. And it isn't just marked cards. 
He was just visiting some friend from Minnesota who's staying here. The cutest thing, though, if I was just 10 years younger. <laughs> Try 20. <laughs> Look who's talking. So does this um, friend have a name? It's Chase, all right. Chase. Jin. Very nice. Thanks. You have good taste. Oh, I didn't do any of this. I just nodded a lot. Well, um, sounds like he has his act together. He's stable, loyal, good with Billy. I love my partner. I do. It's just... Do you know anything about sprinklers? All right, I think it's fixed. We're almost ready to turn the water on. What? Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Can I turn it on? Are you okay? Uh, you're right. It's not a water flow problem. Just for future reference, almost ready doesn't mean totally ready since the goal is to water the lawn, not my face. I'm so sorry. Really. <laughs> I feel absolutely terrible. Seriously. You did this on purpose. No, I, I promise. I can only wish that I was that clever. Oh, is that right? <laughs> no! are great for a diet. First you tell me you write long-handed. Then you tell me you don't have a cell phone. Now this? What are they teaching you in Minnesota? Hmm. Not much, apparently. Thank God for small miracles. Hi. Mm-hmm. Did you show him some ships? Good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, they let me use the coupon. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. It, where is he there? We'll put him, put him on. Hello? Hey! Hello, can you hear me? You? I was looking for Dee Dee. Oh, um, she's out getting a few supplies. Oh, that's right. She mentioned that. Slipped my mind. She shouldn't be long. 
Would you like to have a seat? Oh, I don't want to disturb you. Oh, you're not disturbing me. Go ahead. In that case, thanks. Sure. standing there like a deer in the headlights. I mean, this is like the largest stadium in the state, okay? There's hundreds of people in the stands. I mean, it might as well have been millions. It's a TV crew there. It sounds big time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, shoot, I don't know who's more nervous, me or that damn calf. Trust me, it was the calf. Uh, 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 I'll go with the calf rope. Oh, oh me too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then, then I'm chasing it, and I'm chasing it, I'm chasing it, chasing it. I'm whipping that rope around, whipping that rope around. Bam, I snag it, right? But then somehow, I don't know how, but the knot gets caught my foot and that animal must drag me like 20 yards around the arena. It was on the 11 o'clock news. You're making that up. Oh, it sounds terrifying. Uh, <laughs> totally humiliating is more like it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to read your book. Well, uh, don't get your hopes up. Don't listen to him. He's very talented. Thank you. So, Chase, do you have a girlfriend, or should I say a boyfriend? Uh, Mima, <laughs> give the guy a break. <laughs> uh, Anyone want more green beans? Oh, I do. Yeah. Great. Why didn't you ask me first? Well, you never introduced me to your friends. Take the hint. Shane, you know Mom doesn't want you doing this when there's company. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So? What do you think? I think this is the perfect temperature. About Chase. Who? Oh! You mean your new boyfriend? Smartass. Ah. Uh, feels good. It's not what you think. It never is. Everett used to write these little plays, you know, cast all the kids in the neighborhood, stage it in the backyard. I saw his masterpiece, The Humboldt Cheerleader Massacre, <laughs> three times. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to have watched that. I'm surprised he never mentioned you. Thank you. all this has been awkward for you. They adore you. Listen, if it's easier on you, if I keep my distance... Chase! Duty calls. <laughs> Chase? I have plans tomorrow. To be with you.
Hey. I'm looking for the most handsome man in Humboldt. You must be lost. <laughs> no, I'm at the right place. You should really consider investing in lessons. Shut up. I'm serenading you. That is really scary. What? Don't give me a hard time, but... I mean, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to see the Redwood Country. I don't know why, just... <laughs> Something was just telling me. You ever have places like that? You've always wanted to visit? Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Buenos Aires. Yeah. Bakersfield. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Stop. Ooh, somebody's ticklish. Stop it. <laughs> so tell me how you do it. Do what? Whatever you want. It seems to me you don't let worries get in your way. I'm not that there's anything wrong with that. I admire it. But so what's stopping you? I need food on the table. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> well, it makes you feel any better. This starving writer routine isn't exactly worry-free, you know? Odd jobs, odd hours. I have to constantly remind myself that... If I keep doing what I love... Everything will work out. When most people find out, they get uncomfortable. Or worse, they feel sorry for me. Oh, God, Everett, give me more credit than that. Come on, I don't know how much you've been around kids. golfer's name starts with P. Six letters. Palmer? All right. <laughs> Good. You know, Chase seems like a nice young man. Let's not go there, shall we? I wasn't going anywhere. Well, whatever you say. Dad, 
Again? What are we doing here? We're here because this is the last place that your mother would come to look for me. Is mom okay? Yeah, yeah. Is Chase still around? Uh, yeah. He's busy writing. Wounds can take a long time to heal, son. I'm in trouble, Shane. Have you two... Oh. No. Damn, bro, you've got discipline. No, I just have responsibilities. <laughs> you know, there's this line. I can't cross it. Listen, Everett. Do you love him? Mm.
You don't know how beautiful you are, do you? I guess not. That's good. I wish this week could last forever. It can't. Now, all these years later, I have left faith behind. My accent is gone. My few friends there are gone. Yet, I am still that lost boy in the dark fields, trying to find my way. What's wrong? Nothing. Keep going. The image of the lost boy is beautiful, but I don't get the point. The point is that some of us just stay lost. But is that really a journey? What do you know about journeys? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know.
Some of us prefer to stay in our safe little confines. Some of us don't have the luxury of wandering around aimlessly trying to find ourselves. At least I am trying to find myself. Why are you writing this book anyway? You don't even have the guts to say why you ran away. You know, you go around saying that you're looking for the special person to spend the rest of your life with. But the truth is, you don't trust a soul. Oh, what? You know what? You've never taken a risk before in your life. I am risking everything by being here with you. What are you risking? You didn't run away from home. I wasn't wanted. It still needs a lot of work. No. It's so spare. That's what makes it so powerful. No, uh, it's fine. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. They're coming back early. When? Tomorrow. Do you have any disinfectant? And a good afternoon to you, too. I'm sorry. I have a mold problem. Well, let's see here. Oh, I defy anyone to figure out this man's organizing system.
what's wrong? Nothing. I'm afraid I understand a lot more than you think. I have you down until Sunday. I, uh, I gotta go. Why don't you take a long walk, Chase? That's what you came here for, right? It was the last thing I expected to happen. I hope you don't think I'm a bad mom. I'd never think that. I don't want you to lose sight of the fact that your father and I have had a wonderful marriage. I love him dearly. I couldn't have asked for a better companion. And when I look back on my life, it's hard to conceive of it without him. He drove me crazy sometimes. And he still does. But we built something. Something meaningful. Did you ever see him again? No. He's still in St. Louis, at least the last time I was brave enough to check the internet. Do you ever think about them. a little something. I've read. I hope you like it. <laughs> I'd like it more if I could open it. This might help. One for you, one for me. You're hopeless, you know that. I learn from the best.
promise me something. In five years, no matter where we are, no matter what happens, we will meet in this exact same spot at this exact same time. I promise. that when you're driving south on one that the road forks. I'm not lost anymore. You've grown in only a week. I like that shirt. What kind of ship are you holding there? Your grandma gave you that, huh, Billy? Pretty darn cool, huh? Uh, did anybody call? Just the usual. Why don't we put this one with the others, okay? trip. Fine. The weather was nice. That's good. Everett, the mold's still in the shower. I'm sorry. I... Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to run to the store. No, I, I, I can do it myself. No, it's okay, really. to do. I don't know if this will work, but it's all they had. I have to go out for a little bit. What's wrong? 
Billy, what's the matter? Billy, it's, it's okay. Let him go, honey. Billy! It's okay. Billy, it's okay. He's just going to go out for a short while. I'll be back for you. Somebody's ready to sail. Are you boys coming back here first or going straight to Mom and Dad's? Um, it depends on the traffic. Uh, there's still a lot of construction on I-5. Only one model ship purchased today. Otherwise, we'll have to put an addition on the house. That's an order, Billy. So, do you want anything from Eureka? Just enjoy your day. Mmm. Mmm, this is don't get crumbs everywhere. It's chill, bro. It's probably not even gonna show. He'll show. Are you Everett? Yes. I heard so much about you. I'm Jessica. Can we talk? I don't believe it. He never smoked a day in his life. Why didn't he tell me? It happened so fast, you know? 
Up until the end, he thought he'd, he'd still get better. You know Chase. He's an idealist, right? By the time the morphine kicked in, he... He barely knew where he was. God, he would have been so proud of him, though. He kept writing. And um, he did some work with autistic kids. The day before he passed, he became amazingly lucid. He, he insisted that I be here in Humboldt on this day at this house. He said you were his favorite cousin. There's one more thing. Where's his key? It's buried with him. Now, five years later, it was time to meet again. So much had happened, so much had changed. But like the Redwoods themselves, one thing would always stand the test of time.